A bus aide in Connecticut is facing charges tonight, accused of repeatedly assaulting a 15-year-old student with autism. Police say he used this metal twist tie to restrain mm. the boy. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis has more on this disturbing arrest from Bridgeport. For months, the nonverbal teen had been showing signs of being terrified getting into the van that transports him to school. The police investigation was started after the boy's father noticed bruises. Joseph Jean Felix is free on bail, but he's out of work, fired as a bus aide after allegedly assaulting a boy with autism. Police say this flexible metal twist tie was used as a restraint wrapped around the 15-year-old's arm and cinched tightly. It's unfortunate you have uh, a child that can't communicate uh, with his parents, with his teachers, uh, or communicates in his own way, but uh, can't deliberately say what is happening. Uh, and you have someone taking advantage of that. Felix worked as an aide in the last row of this van, helping transport the boy from his home in Fairfield to a school for special needs students about 40 minutes away. The teen wears a harness over his clothing, and the ties are designed to attach that harness to the seat, securing him in the vehicle. But police say Felix can be seen on surveillance video restraining the boy's arm and at times hitting his hands with them. It showed that this was uh, an ongoing occurrence and the aide was in fact uh, using this tie wrap to restrain the child while he was on the bus during his trip to school. According to court documents, the aide is seen assaulting the teen on five separate trips. It's heartbreaking as a parent. Uh, it's also uh, hard to swallow as a human being. The abuse might have gone on for months. In June, the aide was suspended, suspected of restraining the teenager, but it couldn't be proven because the cameras in the van were not working. They weren't fixed until November.